All right, here we are, another week back here. It's me, Matthias, the host, joined by one boy yet again. As long as we're here. So, kind of, kind of broke up, right there. John, hello. Testing. Foxcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guy, I'm hearing you now. Cool. So, man, how's it going? Did you ever get your stuff from GW? I did. I got my three Doomstalkers, but the Dark Angels hype is too real, so they are just sitting under my bed, under my desk, unassembled, while I'm painting some, uh, some Knights of Caliban. So. Uh, well, I mean, you are rumoring that the uh, Dark Angels will get their book started next year, so. Yes. I, I keeps driving. I keeps driving for sure. Yeah, I finally got my. Uh, I got my Silent King. Oh, nice. You know, uh, that was... Alright, I'm gonna be real here. I hate building. I think <laughs> it's the worst part of this hobby. If everything was push right. fit, you know, I'd be happy. <laughs> because, I, you know, I don't have the creativity to customize my stuff, you know, like other people. I'd rather paint. But, of course, number one will always be playing the game. So, uh, my, uh, my giant throne here... Uh, you know, has some has some glaring errors on it. Kind of, kind of put the satan upside down. Oh, whoops! You know, I said that, and then looking at it, I'm like, you know, it doesn't really look that bad. Because <laughs> in the end, it's just a satan being destroyed on a molecular level to feed whatever this throne is. That's fair. So you know, it it didn't. It doesn't turn out too bad. Uh, uh, I have some, some engines Necron... upside down, but you know, whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, some guy in the Necron Facebook won really hard with a Silent King list. It had it was a close combat list. It had like Silent King, 10 Lich Guard, 10 Praetorians, 5 Scorpec, and you were just murdering people. Oh, yeah, we just assumed they'd go... Uh... What, was he custom Dynasty no, or was no he... Bok. No Bok. Oh, it was No Bok. okay. The close combat um dynasty. Yeah, so I didn't feel like buying any new models because uh, so I was kind of just gonna go with my silver tide. Okay, yeah, that works. You know, just uh, I think I had to trim it down to like seventy nine warriors. Uh, the two what, what would we go with chrono lords? The what chrono lords? Not chrono lord, chronomancers. Sorry. Oh, Chronomancers, yeah, for the invul. Yeah, I went with two Chronomancers. Uh, 79 Warriors, Nightbringer, and then a good old Silent King himself. You know, that's there you go. the list that I'm looking at right now. There you go. And it's all painted, which is great, except for my Silent King. That's not painted, but that's only because it took me forever to paint this thing. I don't know, build this thing. Right. But other than that, I mean, have you been have you been playing any games, any hobby, game? Play? Yeah, I actually got got my first game with my Dark Angels. I was playing them as custom white scars against my buddy's gray knights, and I will say I should have just played regular white scars because lots of moments where I wish I could just fall back and charge or advance and charge. Now, uh, I'm getting used to the army. I haven't played Primaris in a long time, especially regular Primaris, because back in eighth I played. Phobos heavy Raven Guard, so this is new, and I like I like it. Um, Blade Guard murdered a lot of Terminators, which was awesome. Uh, I tried out the new Eradicators, the hev the heavy version, but they get plus two damage. Those are pretty good. I'm still debating if they're worth it compared to the regular ones in a small in a thousand point game. Mm. But the plus two damage is handy. Uh, also, oh, so Eliminators. What's up? You played a you played a medium sized game, huh? Yeah, I just played thousand points. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Eliminators not being, not being able to shoot through walls it was super new to me. And I had to, like, actually... They wasted two... I don't know why I, I thought I could shoot through walls, but... Because they uh, could. Deploying, yeah, we, they, they could. They could not. They can't anymore. They just ignore... Uh, they can just snipe characters. So they kind of spent two turns doing nothing, which sucked. So I think... Uh, I'll, I'll give them another shot on Wednesday to see if they, uh, they kick butt. Otherwise, I'll replace them for just more Blade Guard. 
Yeah, unfortunately for me, I had a bunch of series of unfortunate events, so I didn't get to do my gaming group, unfortunately. I had some bad tacos one day, and then the next day, good. next day I just felt like shit, and then I couldn't just stay at home. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, no, it's awful. But, uh, feeling, you know, 80% better today. So we got a... I'll bring out the Silent King and we'll wreck some wreck some uh, blood angels, I think is what I'm going to be fighting. Oh, there you go. Which means I uh, can't let them get close to me. Yes. <laughs> Just got to shoot them. A 79 warriors. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> Hopefully. But I, I look forward to it because it is it's a beautiful model. I can't wait to paint it. I think, I think it's really good too, so I don't think it's one of those things where it's like like the monolith that just kind of sucks, or you're gimping yourself by taking it. I think he's super good. What are you talking about, man? Come on, you get that monolith in close combat, three automatic hits at strength, like eight, three oh, damage true. a piece, I and mean, come on. That's true. It's every, so... Everyone's sleeping on the monolith, <laughs> as they should, but I mean, you never know. Gosh, it just needs a quantum shielding and we're all good. It needs not to be 500 points. That too. A freaking quarter of your army right there. On something that will be destroyed in like turn one. If it fights the wrong army. Right. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to try. Quote unquote, because I've never done this. I'm going to try to do battle report style, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see how I feel about it. But it should be fun. I look forward to it. So, other than that, unless you got any any other hot takes you'd want to go out there, I think go should go in the news. Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, all right. I'm on the wrong page. All right, there we go. Uh, so Sunday preview. We got uh, we got confirmation on the Death Watch and. Blood or Space Wolves books coming out for pre order this week, this Saturday. Mm -hmm. Get the dice, get the cards if you need them. Uh, I must say, you know, these dice right here, even though the one and six are uh, changed, uh, these are much better than uh, the Salamander dice and whatever the other dice we complained about last time. Are you looking at the, the Space Wolves one or the? both or both yeah no they're they're both pretty cool i will say the space wolf one if i was gonna get one i'll get the space wolf one because they're just slightly fancier and worth the money no oh, yeah but... i mean i'm gonna have to go off memory here i mean i know we have the prices which we'll talk uh, about next time but i mean they're usually like what 30 bucks usually 30 bucks yeah yeah um definitely more bang for your buck to go for the space wolf even though i mean death watch is Plain and simple, which I like. I just hate the six and one being two different symbols. Totally fair. So we got that going on. Um, Space Wolves got their own unique Reaver style models. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is weird. The Hounds of Mo Morkai. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. It's I, just... I like it. You know, it gives. It gives the Space Wolves their own little flavor. I mean, Reavers will never be good, in my opinion. But, you know, right. they got their own little Space Wolf kit for their Reavers. I do wish they did something like release special heads for them or something that you could just put on the on the unit. But, I mean, hey, yeah, you're right. Like, hey, it's, uh, it's unique Space Wolf stuff. So, sure, that works. <laughs> I mean, it's just what, what the heads? I, I've the never, heads, yeah. never really One had them. Necklace. Yeah. So, you got some kind of new model, I guess. Not really, but they're there. Yeah. As the combat they patrol box for Space Wolves, you get the uh, some intercessors. Get the Invictus Dreadnought. Some, uh, what is that, a captain with an axe? Uh, lieutenant with an axe. Lieutenant with an axe. And some Reaver, or the Hounds of Morkai. Yeah. And then I, I skipped over the Death Watch. 
which we get uh, some aggressors. Uh, Apothecary. It's good at the moment until they FAQ it. I don't know if they've done it yet, but, you know, being able to bring back an ATV would be good. Uh, some more intercessors. I assume that's another lieutenant in the middle right there. Or is that one the captain? Yeah, with power sword, yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll go over the prices and more in depth on what's in the box in the next uh, web page here. Uh, so continuing, uh, we'll finally get some Outriders. It's gonna be sold separately now from the Indominus box. Yep. If you uh want to grab those. Oh, did not even see my screen. My phone to the right. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna finally get that. You got Ragnar and Gazgul individually. Rag Ragnar and Gazgul coming out of their uh, box. So you can finally get them separately instead of getting them off eBay or wherever. Right. You want to get them from officially from GW. You can finally get these special characters, which uh, nice. Uh, another model gripper. That they're selling. You see, this one seems more ergonomic. I'm sure it's better than the old one because there's no reason for them to change it if it's worse or the same. So, no, you never. I know. don't know. Maybe I'll pick one up. I, I I like this stuff, so we'll see. Yeah, I should probably pick one up, but you know, I'm just so used to just using my hands. <laughs> it's weird. I will say that. This one's super worth it. I will say. Let's see, uh, new from Forge World. Yeah. Uh, uh, Imperial armor book. Imperial armor, yep. That's, yeah. That's uh, cool. Finally. Yeah, it's about time. I know they teased this like, what, beginning of February out of the LVO. So. Yeah. Finally gonna see that. Uh, pick that up or pre-order that this Saturday. You got the Doctor, Necromunda, and Black Library. Get some books. I'm sure uh, Travis would be happy about the darkness and blood, since it is his blood angels, blood angel bros. There you go. But other than that, oh, and the blood angels, a uh, graphic novel. Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder if uh, that's if it's good, I might check it out. Because I, I I'm a fan of the blood angels, so. Well, I mean, you'd think uh, they would have dived into comics a lot earlier. I mean, I know there's some there's some graphic. Early graphic novels of Space Marines but didn't really stick, so I'm surprised that they're giving it another right. shot. Right. That's all that. All that coming for pre-order for next week or this week, this Saturday. Uh, no, I'm not really looking forward to any of this. I mean, the Yazgul probably because I do have orcs, and I do have the old janky Gazgul. So it'd be nice to give him an upgrade. But other than that, Space Wolves and Death Watch, not interested at all. But you guys are getting your own little control combat patrol box. So let's dive into the prices, shall we? Yeah, let's go for it. So according to Bell of Lost Souls here, the supplement books will be $30 each. That's about right same as the last ones the main book was what 50 bucks it was 50 bucks yeah so 20 bucks for not carrying around a thick book but who knows you might need to carry around that space marine book for their allies still for the, reg for the regular units this is only going to have the special stuff so like all the characters and all the yeah Exactly, and stratagems and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah Death that's kind of steep. That's kind of steep, then. I mean, for Death Watch, it's really steep. I don't know what kind of unique stuff they would have to warrant a $30 book. Uh, I mean, the Corvus, I guess? Not, uh, a, not enough, unless they're getting a lot more that's... special characters. Yeah. I mean, Space Wolves, you have, like, you know, you have the wolf, you have wolf, uh, what's wolf, wolf in, everything. Yeah, wolf in. Wolf bikers, I don't aircraft. know what they're called. Yeah, the, you have special red knots, you have a lot of special characters. 
you got the new hounds you got um a bunch of a bunch of stuff wolf guard terminators and all that so the space wolf one it's that's pretty good and i can imagine stuff like the blood angels and dark angels one would be worth that maybe the ultramarines one just because of how many special characters and units they have but death watch, death watch is like uh, uh yeah I mean, they got all the special ammunition, but that's about all I really know about Death Watch. I don't think they have anything special, right? Just the Corvus and the Watchmaster. I mean, I guess you have uh, the special character guy. I forgot his name. Uh, I think Artem. Uh, oh yeah, watch, uh, watch Captain Artemis, and I guess the the chaplain or kill team Cassius. I guess I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It'll be uh, it'll be weird. It'll be weird. Let's see what else? Okay, so that's thirty bucks each. The data cards are gonna be fifteen bucks, and the dice will be thirty-five bucks. That's for both. Yeah, sounds about right. And I feel like I feel like the dice went up five bucks. I might be wrong, but it sure, feels like it went up five. I think you're right. I think they did go up five bucks. Charging, charging more and more for dice. That's a, a little questionable here. Get out of my way. All right. Um, the Outriders are going for sixty bucks. Yeah, just buy the command edition. <laughs> Spend forty bucks, get some intercessors, sell the Necrons. You know, like, yeah. Yeah, you're saying going with the... It's like, what, 50 bucks? 55 bucks? The Elite Edition? Yeah. Oh, no, no it's... Uh, oh, no, it's no, no, that's the bigger one. I'm thinking of the combat yeah, one. Yeah, The smaller one is, is, is too small. Yeah, I would agree. Get the Elite. Yeah, get some good. Intercessors, get some. Get another Captain, get some Necrons. Sell, the, sell everything that you don't want. You probably yeah. make your money back. Yeah. And make some money, you know, if you want to just keep sell everything and be smart about it, you could probably make some money. That that too. Yeah. Uh, Ragnar Blackmane. It's going for forty bucks for this one character. Pretty big. Is he big? Yeah, he's pretty big. Those Primaris characters are, are pretty huge, actually. Well, he's on a forty mil base, right? Yeah, I mean they're typically thirty-five on a forty mil. I guess it's the five-dollar character. Like I'm a special character tax. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm sure Space Wolf players will be happy to finally get them individually, but that's a lot. It's quite a lot for a little piece of plastic, in my opinion. Yeah, of course, Khan is 40 bucks. Um, I believe Tigerius is also 40 bucks. Got my boy Gazgul Thoracra over here being 60 bucks. He's, that guy's huge. That guy's a redemptive dreadnought in size, so that sounds about right. Yeah, that you know, I'll, I I can see myself paying that much money for that. Yeah, because that's a that's a primary sork right there. So. Oh, you bet. Uh, and then we got the combat patrols. Both gonna go for hundred forty bucks. So I did the math on this one. These are these are essentially start collectings with another thing in them. And the savings is the same. You just have to pay more. So the Death Watch one is a good example because, because I believe are sixty the, bucks. What's up? I said the aggressors are like sixty bucks. Yeah. So the example I use is the Death Watch one because the Star Collecting Space Wolves one, the old one, is exactly the same thing, except with no primary spot to carry, and no no uh no Death Watch upgrade. And I think that's let's see how much that is. Start collecting space wolves. Uh, is there a primaris space wolves? Eh, interesting. Uh, primaris. I guess you can't find it anymore. Interesting. Which one? What are you looking um, for? The start collecting primaris space wolves. Oh yeah, they probably. I believe that one's that. like ninety bucks or hundred bucks. So. Well, isn't it wasn't that the whole thing about the start collecting? Weren't they all about like ninety bucks? Yeah. So you are, I think you're saving 60 bucks out of this box set because it's 60, 50, plus 70, plus the transfers. So it's about 200 bucks worth of stuff. Uh, the aggressor is 60. I think the Death That's Watch Terminator uh, Apothecary is 35 bucks. That's 95 right there. 
Uh, and the, the lieutenant is also... So both characters are essentially 70. Okay. So you're looking at 130 plus another 60 for the intercessors. That's 190. And then the Death Watch upgrade is like 25 bucks. So you're looking at 200 plus. So you are saving quite a bit. Assuming you want all of them, you know? Right. Okay. So it sounds like the Death Watch got kind of a deal here. What about... What are we talking about uh, Space Wolves over there? How much is the Dragon? Uh, Space is that like... Wolves one. So 60. I think the... And Victor is 60, so 120. And then half, like, the Reavers are, I think, 35. It's the same thing. It's, uh, it's just exactly the same thing, actually. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah. they're both listed at 50 power, so, you know. Right. So, yeah, I think you it's about the same $60, $70 savings. So these are amazing deals if you want all of these. Now, the price is higher than a start collecting, but you're still saving just as much. Yeah, you're saving about 50 bucks. Yeah. And it is exactly 500 points, so. At least if the, the community article is, is correct. Um, well, 50 points, isn't that, isn't that like 1,000? No, it's 500 points. It's listed as, uh, as 500 points oh. worth of stuff. <clears throat> and then I must have misread it. I thought it said 50 power. Mm. All right. No, and... it's not 500 points. All right, then. And then we got the Hounds of Malka. Oh. Okay, Morkai, uh, okay. being uh, 45 bucks, which I assume is about the same as Reavers. Maybe a little bit more expensive since it has the Space Wolf kit in it. I would say so, yeah. That's how, how the Death Watch Apothecary is. I mean, it's the same, it's the same model, but it just because it has Death Watch on it, it increases the price a little bit more. Right. Uh, and then uh, Imperial Armor will go for 65 bucks, And we got stuff to say about that. I think that's it. Uh, yeah. And... Yeah, I mean, you're paying... This is probably ever going to come out once in addition for your, all your Forge World toys. So it depends. Like, if you're like me or Matt, that we have multiple factions where it's kind of worth it, and we have friends that can share the book. We, you know, for our gaming group, we can just look at the book. It's right. pretty worth it. Uh, if you only like play like Tau and you have one data sheet or something, it's kind of steep because you are paying for for all the factions, right? Yeah, you're paying for everything. Yeah. So, shall we get into the Imperium armor book? Get into the data sheets. That they presented us all 191 of them, so many. It's a lot. It's a lot. It used to be more. Yeah, it used to be a lot more. Cause they're, uh, I think they are finally implementing for Forge World at least. I mean, I know they've been doing it for base GW game, but uh, they're finally implementing the rule of uh, if it doesn't have a model, no longer exists in this book. Chapter Dreadnought is a big one. But uh. I'm surprised because, I mean, I heard that logic, but there was some stuff in that Forge World did have that they took out, model-wise. But I'd like to go over a yeah, few that go. I went through, just because, I you know, I check out my faction. Right. Uh, So, we got Dark Eldar. I'm happy to say, uh, nothing changed. Because we only have two data sheets. Uh, Necrons. I looked into Necrons. Nothing changed. You guys still have everything. Yep. Uh, Tau. Now, I don't know if I caught everything in there, the Tau book, but uh, the stuff that did stick out to me. Uh, we lost the Orca dropship, which I'm pretty sure no one really ran, to be real here. Um. A TX-42 Pariah Light Skimmer. Uh, I didn't see many people run Pariahs to begin with, so I'm not surprised that the uh, Light Skimmer version got deleted. And then uh, anything oh. Crute. The entire Crute army has been deleted from uh, the, this index. It's just all battle suits, pretty much. 
that makes sense because they haven't made Forge Old Crew in quite a while now. Like you can't buy a Narlock. You haven't been able been able to buy one for like three years at least. Mm-hmm. I know, but I mean, it's kind of kind of sad. Yeah, it's probably going to be Legends. I mean, <laughs> they don't want to. I mean, it's to be fair. I you know to give them the benefit of the doubt. I I wouldn't want things that aren't sold to be in match play because that's for sure like kind of jacked up. You know, like what if the Narlock's OP, right? I mean, you can't buy one. So it's like, well, no. yeah, I understand. The, be- the best solution would be just to just make Narlocks, you know. But I mean, that's Forge World's prerogative, and they tend to just delete kits for no reason. So, so if you want to play the Narlock, you got to go back to Dawn of War, uh, Dark Crusade, and Soulstorm. Want to play some Narlocks? But uh, that's all I got for Tau. I, I, I couldn't go through it all. I didn't. I didn't know. What was Forge World and what was not. Not too familiar with the army. Uh, my other love here, Eldar. Craft World. Uh, all Corsairs are gone. There's no more Corsairs in the Forge World book. <laughs> Which, uh, goodbye, you know what, goodbye Pirate. Craft World Eldar 2021 confirmed. You think so? You think they're going to be in there? Hell yeah. Yeah, well, hopefully the uh, the Wasp Walkers will be in there as well, because I, I always wanted to have uh, 18 War Walkers on the board. The Wasp Walkers were a fast attack unit, so, you know. Have those around with your War Walkers. Oh, that'd be nice. But those are gone. No Wasp Walkers. Yeah, those are kind of weird, but... Uh, The Phoenix is gone. The Vampire Hunter and the Vampire Raider are gone. Those were all flyers. Those are all now no longer in the code or uh, in the index as well. So those are if you had those models or you made custom models, start using them as something else because you ain't playing those anymore. Right. Did you see anything missing? I mean, Chaplain Dreadnought, obviously, but that that was a long time coming. That model is no longer being made. Mm -hmm. Um, One thing is they removed the relic from the name for relic tanks. It could just be a special rule. So there's that. Uh, The Contemptor Mortis is now gone. The Mortis being the Contemptor that had double guns. I think they're just going to roll that in with the Relic Contemptor and give you an option to have double guns. Lots of special characters are still there. Um, let's see. Uh, chaos stuff. Uh, Death Guard lost a bunch of stuff. The Plague Hulk is now gone. The special character is now gone. I think he's just going to be used as a as a sorcerer. Um, all the all the chaos stuff is there. The Leviathans. Of course, um, those are top sellers. Videos. Yeah. I'm really wondering what the Leviathan stats are going to be because everyone has those, so quite curious about that. Um, yeah, you and me both. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, for Space Marines, I- I'm just waiting for the rules because there's nothing really that I... I mean, Chaplain Dreadnought is the only thing, excuse me, that I have a model for that is no longer usable. I can just use him as a regular Dreadnought. It's no big deal to me. Just use him as an Ironclad Dreadnought. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Uh, well, actually, yeah, I have a converted contemptor with the Night Lord's head, but that's just going to be an easy, easy fix there. Yeah. Um, then they're like, uh, just, you know, people with a keen eye notice that they got the Chaos Titan Legion. The Titan Legion's added into this book, so, you know. There you go. You guys got that now. Bring up Titan Legions. I mean, maybe the Warlord's playable and is not terrible. <laughs> Hey man. Freaking volcano cannon can kill six guardsmen. Like why? That's what I've been saying about my uh, revenant titan. Why would they make that thing two thousand points? I mean, I wouldn't mind if it's two thousand points if it can do two thousand points worth of work. But I'm just shocked that the 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 freaking giant volcano cannon that can destroy spaceships can only kill six guardsmen because of how, you know, random shots work. It's just ridiculous to me. Anyways. Always good tangents with these super godlike machinery. 
so I'm actually curious how they're gonna because I mean with Space Marines and Necrons the, the new codex changed a lot of rules, so I wonder how it's gonna change a lot of these these units. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it. I mean I don't in terms of Eldar I don't expect many changes. We can only hope that some of that stuff, aka the Corsairs, get rolled into the Craft World book, but other than that I don't see many changes happening for Eldar Forge World, at least. And we'll have to see where the Tau suits go, because I don't know where that's going to lead up to either. Especially with the old drones being kind of nerfed a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's cool to see a mechanized army. And then... Um, got anything else you want to say? We can just move on to Death, Death Corp Krieg. Uh, yeah, no, nothing really. I'm just probably next week once we we see more leaks or rules. We, the, we could, when the book we gets leaked, I, I look forward to that. Yeah. So. So, uh, here we go. Death Corp Krieg. The uh, the thing they showed off the most and praised about getting all these new stuff. Because everyone loves Death Corp Corpse Krieg. So uh, just a little thing here. Uh, they used to have uh, ignore casualties from uh, from shooting for morale tests, and they used to be base weapon skill three. So they lost that with this uh, cult of sacrifice. So basically, uh. They're like Space Marines now. They ignore combat attrition modifiers. Right. And on a 4-up, you can make a attack. Shooting or combat. And if it's a vehicle, as long as it doesn't explode, you can do this on a 4-plus. So, what do you think? You think that's a... Uh, you think that's good? In itself? I mean, if you do tank heavy, it's pretty awesome, you know? True. But... But it is... I mean, I would assume it's only one shot and not all the weapons. Uh, yeah, just one gun. I mean, if it's a battle cannon, then I'm assuming you get the D6 shots because you shoot with one right, of right, the two right, weapons. Right, right, right. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think... I wonder if there's stratagems for them because it's really like with that. I mean... There's very few chapter tactics on the in its in itself that are amazing. You know, white scars are amazing. The blood needles one's pretty good. Like the like the the salamanders one, even in eighth edition, wasn't that crazy. Just the reroll, one, you get one reroll, and you know. But that was a reroll for everything, right? Yeah, but it was one what made them busted was the strats and and all that stuff kind of thing, you know. Right. Same goes for uh for for fists like their chapter tactic was terrible ignore cover in eighth edition, but you know their combat doctrines and their their strats were pretty good. Now, this in itself isn't very exciting to me. If it was every yeah. model, that'd be crazy. But uh, I mean, yeah, I mean if you run like... all vehicles, it's pretty good. But so it's a it's a coin flip and uh, yeah. If it yeah, wasn't all yeah. character, if it wasn't characters, vehicles, you know, it'd be. Well, I mean, be if it was everyone, like you said, it would, it would be, be great. Good. Yeah, but but who knows? Characters, IG, that's a that's a feels yeah. bad. Who who uses uh, commissars to do anything in close combat? Just, yeah, right. just give them a blast pistol and say, "All right, there you go. That's it. That's all you get." So not much. Uh, not very good, in my opinion, so far. And especially where vehicle meta is going right now, it's still early, but it's not, early. It's not looking too good for vehicle metas right now. Yeah, uh, I was reading on Reddit that taking like a knight or a vehicle, you can still win games with them, but vehicle spam is not that good right now. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think it will be, cause it's, yeah, as forty k goes, it only escalates. It doesn't really de-escalate. Um, a couple other things here. Uh, so units gone from the list. Uh, no death corpse Krieg. Uh, no death corpse infantry squad. 
that's where their weapon skill three is. That that's gone. The Grenadier Storm Squads are gone. Death Rider Commissar is gone. Quartermaster Cod Cadre de la Gone. Karis Venner is gone. Centaur Carrier is gone. And the Hades Breaching Drill is gone. Which I, I know the drill. That, that was a big thing. That could be rolled over into the uh, the IG book. Oh, it's still being ma made. It's emailed me, though, so maybe it could just be gone forever. Yeah, well, and like I said, it might go, might just go into the IG book. Who knows? But that's a... They, they lost stuff. Well, uh, like I said, we just have to see what's going to happen. Uh, I know it used to be that you couldn't take uh, any IG stuff with them, so maybe they'll get access to the IG stuff now? Probably, because they, you need to be able to take infantry squads and whatnot. So it's probably going to be an IG supplement as opposed to like an own co its own codex kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, so that, that'd be the hope. Because right. it would be very sad to see an IG army like this go down into the dumpster considering IG armies have been getting dumped on all the time looking at Kadia here right. but uh, we'll have to wait and see pre-orders for these are next week so speaking of pre-orders get into this nice segue uh, I did pre-order the uh, what's it called? The Catacombs. Warcry yeah, Catacombs. Warcry. Yeah. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Did you did you pre-order it, or are you, you holding off on it? I did pre-order it, yeah. It's neat terrain, and the two teams are awesome, so... Were you surprised that, by the price? I did say it was, was going to be about 200 bucks. I was super surprised by the price. And then I realized there's an extra... Exp there's a full expansion there, so okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I really thought it was going to be the same... But then I realized that there's another the catac that book looks pretty thick the catacombs book I'm sure there's like a, a bunch of rules there for and when they when they when they did the preview of uh, of Warcry all all factions are getting special catacomb rules like if you play underground um, like for example night haunt can go through walls um, some units could some factions get something special like they could set traps and stuff and all that so it's pretty sizable. Well, I'd hope so. I mean, it's basically the uh, second edition, right? No, because the core, the rules are the same. The core book's the same. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought they were, you know, tweaking some rules. To, so there's like a a best way to say like a midway expansion. Then I guess. Yeah, it's like an alternate. It's not like Kill Team Arena. It's just another game mode, but it's way more sizable because there's really like there's just more depth to it, which is good. I mean, again, it's more stuff, right? Right. More stuff is sometimes always good. That's true. <laughs> sometimes. But uh, I, I think in Warcry's case, it's better. Because, I mean, you you hit on this last time. That the game is more made for the armies built for the game and not the AOS standard armies. Correct. I would I would say so. Now, the easy house rule is to just not use cavalry or stormcast. But my eel riders can just move, you know, 20 inches. And that's what I'm saying, right? So just avoid cavalry and avoid stormcast. Um, because but, this, like, mobility kind of makes this game super easy or too easy. Oh, so yeah. I, would, I would say, like, sticking with the infantry and all that is probably a more fun experience. Yeah, the amount of games I won just because of my eel riders... Man, I felt so dirty. It was funny. There was one game where it's like I started off with the treasure and just had to get off the board. Started in the middle. It's like, well, I just moved 20 and I'm off the board. Well, shall we pick a new game? <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I'll ever play Eel Riders again as much as I'd like to. Uh, yeah. But uh, the Elves... The uh, I, I forgot what they're called, Carnite Stalkers. I think is what they're called. 
So it's funny because there was a Warhammer community article that labeled these as Umbraneth. And as you know, I, I didn't realize this, that I didn't realize the Neth prefix because Sylvaneth, Idaneth, Lumineth. It's like, oh, wait a second. That's that's the elf name now is Neth. So they, they name dropped Umbraneth. So it's, people are saying that's going to be the Dark Elves. So Dark Elves are coming um, soonish, probably sometime next year. So we're saying Malkith is finally finally going to get oh, upgraded. Yeah, dude. A true Phoenix King will, <laughs> will get a model. I'm looking forward to it. But uh, yeah, those models, ever since they dropped them, it, it was this February, right? I, I believe it was this February. It was yeah. during LVO. Yeah. Whenever they dropped that, I was like, oh my god. These models look so goddamn good. All of them? Uh, Well, I mean... They only released three the first time, but I mean, like you mean the elves and the the flame guys, or just the elves? Uh, well, I'm, I'm talking about the elves right now. Okay. Because that that was the only thing they released back then. Right. Uh, but I mean, the whole box set, I like. I think it looks pretty good. It's pretty legit. I don't have to start practicing my uh, fire painting. <laughs> if I want to make them look all fiery, I'll probably give up on it because, you know, I can't paint fire, but whatever. You know, I'll try. I'll I'll try yeah. give, it, give it my college try. Some tutorials on YouTube, I'm sure, from Duncan. Maybe. We'll see. Well, I'll have to look him up. I know he started his own YouTube channel. He did. So, out of the two factions, that got... Announce. Well, I mean, who who are you looking at? Oh man, that's a good question. Uh, so my buddy is really hyped for Scions of the Flame, and he got his own set. So I'll probably do the Elves, but at the same time, I still have my Spire Tyrants I wanted to finish. So if I don't have those, I would do the Elves. I think. Oh, I'm going. I'm going Elf hype. You know. I doing Elf hype. Oh, for sure. For sure. Nah, I said they just dope models. Uh, I don't have any. I don't think I. No, I don't have Warcry. Uh, if I did have a, a legit Warcry army, I would have gone the. Uh, who who is the Zinch faction? Do you remember their names? Yeah, the, uh, the 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 Cipher Lords. Yeah, there you go, the Cipher Lords. Yeah, I would have done them. Good. I don't know how they play, but. Uh, they're super glass cannony. Oh, good. That, that's so the army that I play. They, yeah, but they instantly die. <laughs> I don't know. I like hard hitting armies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I played Untamed Beasts, which are the more um, they're mo mobile tanky. Actually, they're they're pretty fast, but they don't do as much damage as the Cypher Lords, but they could take more hits. Aren't they the? You know, let's see. The better word being vanilla chaos army. Yeah, good. They're just marauders. Yeah. Um, and I also played the Snake People, whose name I forgot. Those guys were fun. Those guys are, uh... The Arena Fighters? Is that no, what they were? No, no, the, uh, the ones that look like Gladiators, yeah. Well, I guess, yeah, the ones that look like Gladiators. Those, those guys are pretty cool, too. But right now, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing the Spire Tyrants, because I, there's a lot of Underworlds models that fit that faction, so I'm gonna stick with that. Just have some variety in my model account. There you go. Yeah, that'd be... I'm looking forward to it. How do you think the uh, the lava map? You think it's gonna be a fun campaign, or you think it's gonna be a meh kind of thing? I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting because you know, with the war cry, having that full field of movement is pretty is pretty nice. But I th or it's pretty integral to the game, so it'll be really interesting to see how limiting that with a dungeon setting is gonna look like where it's very limited like it's kind of hard to like you know support people immediately because you got to go through the dungeons you gotta watch out for lava there's walls everywhere stuff like that so oh. that should be interesting that that is actually i'm pretty excited to see how that's gonna work yeah i think it's gonna be awesome the way that because of all the games that i have played you know it's the same boring fences everywhere i, I i'm simplifying it but it'll be cool to have the hazard of, you know, falling in the lava. Maybe there'll be some kind of mechanic to push someone in. 
you know? Right. I think if you um, are going to run a campaign with your buddies, I would recommend picking up one of the 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 maps that they released. The old maps? Yeah, they they released like some map boxes. Um, I got the uh, the forest one. That one's pretty fun. Just have and and the uh, the ruins one, which is just ruined buildings. That one's pretty good. I think it just to, it helps to add some variety in the map making. Right. Because it, it does get kind of boring if you just play the same map for a whole campaign. I think variety for that is is pretty cool. Oh yeah, I think I think the setting will be nice. I look forward to whatever else they're gonna release. What would what would you think a next uh, War Cry army would be? Oh man, it's a good question. You stuff? I don't even know. I have no idea. They could pull anything out of the of the box at this point. Well, I mean, right now they got like what six chaos armies? Yeah, for the six realms. They got one elf army. So I mean, it's surprising that they haven't put in any sigmarines. But uh, I'm actually I'm I'm not surprised because they already have the full range for that. So I think they're gonna they're gonna go more of like. I think they I would hope to see a Seraphon one. That would be cool. Uh, well, they are yeah. getting uh underworlds right. They are, yeah. Or, I can't, I can't remember. No, we didn't get anything. We just got the Chameleon Skink model. They didn't announce, and they didn't show any new models or anything, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Seraphim uh, Warband would be nice. It'll be interesting to see what they would do with it. But, you know, new models, it would be appreciated. I would love to see a Realm of Shadow Chaos Warband because we don't have that. We have a Realm of Light one with the Cypher Lords, but we don't have a Realm of Shadow one. That would be cool. Hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else. I mean, the, I mean, the next logical thing would probably be just Orcs, but... Because, <laughs> I mean, you gotta, gotta have your green skins in there. That's true. New Orc models would be cool. I don't... I just... I honestly think they wouldn't do... Well, okay, let me rephrase this. I hope they never do Sigmarines in Warcry. They can and have they can have the AOS version in there, which is stupid, but they can have that in there. But I just hope they never actually it's a Warcry army for that. Sorry all I, you Sigmarines out there. But I play Stormcast and I think they belong in Age of Sigmar. It's kinda of having like Space Marines and Necromunda, it's just weird, you know, like they, they belong with the giant battlefields um kind of thing. Not yeah. the uh because it's kind of funny because so all of these Warcry guys have rules in Age of Sigmar and they're all terrible. Not as in they suck in the game, but they have like one wound, they do like four up, four up, one damage kind of thing for their weapons. So they're pretty pathetic. But you know, if you zoom in and it's everyone's, full, the whole game is about them, then you can see the differences in the models. Like, you know, the, the unit leaders are way more beefier than, than the squishy, like the grunts, and you have your, your heavy hitters and all that. So So I don't think, so that's just another way of saying like I I don't think Stormcast belong in that in that matter on this game so yeah. Well, I guess the question would arise: Would something like the uh, Chaos Knights be allowed in there as well, or would we? Will we they are, but them? I. But yeah, it's it, yeah, it's it's the same thing. They I they feel weird in the game to be honest with you. So basically, anything heavy. Yeah, I I just think it should be losers. This this is just a game for with losers. <laughs> So your basic super grunts in the game. So the That's ogres it. will be uh, represented by noblars. <laughs> yeah, like with one ogre and like twenty noblars, I'll be down for that. Or I guess nineteen because of the twenty men limit. But yeah, I'd be super down for that. That would be funny. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I guess if I had to make a prediction, I would probably say. <sighs> well, technically the elves are alliance, right? Or what? What is it? Light. So probably an undead army, because you know, we are in the age of Nagash. So I I I'd probably put my money on a uh, undead war cry coming out next. Like maybe like a necromancer and then a couple couple skellies. That'd be cool. Would fit. Oh wait, no, there's no magic in the game, right? There is. It's like some of the range attacks are just magic. I mean, some of the abilities are kind of magical. Like I know the uh, the Age of Sigmar um, undead 
ones, uh, Legions of the Gashon for Warcry, they do have resurrection mechanics, which is pretty cool. But that's not a spell, right? That's like a... It's just an ability. It's just an in, ability. In, yeah. Well, uh, okay. Yeah, I guess if the ability can make them do that. Right. Okay, so... If that lucky Necromancer could do it, probably <laughs> get a guy up. But it, it'll be interesting. That would be my prediction, at least. Just uh, right. some undead. Some rogue necromancer. Yeah, that would be cool. So, I think that's all we really got to talk about. It was a very light news week. Not much to discuss as well. I know, uh, like I said, I'll try to have a battle report. A very uh, newbie battle report up after my Blood Angels game. See how that goes. and. Uh, you got anything else you want to add? Uh, that's it. I'm looking forward to the uh, Forge World Index because I have a lot of Forge World units. So, and I want to get some more Forge World units. I want to get those sick Dark Angels, Contemptor, Dreadnoughts, and Leviathans. But I gotta wait to see how they are, what their points are gonna be, you know, stuff like that. Oh, you know, I have something I want to bring up. Oh, what's up? That I kind of forgot. I mean, I don't know. Do I, you, I assume you use Battle Scrap, right? Yes, I do use Battle Scribe. We, we chat about that a bit. <laughs> uh, so, do you have any idea what's going on with them? So, I was doing some research. Um, it's kind of funny that this this the, the dumbest not dumb like this <laughs> the funniest conspiracy. You know the GW conspiracies, right? Like GW is doing X, Y, and Z. You know they're trying to steal their money. Blah blah blah. Right. The funniest I've heard is that Games Workshop is releasing so many rules just so Battle Scribe can't keep up. Because <laughs> it can't, like... So the thing with Battle Scribe, why it's taking so long, is that um, because of how the data works, only one person can work on the data sheet at, at once. Otherwise, it gets messy if there's multiple people editing at the same time. Mm -hmm. So one person has to implement the entire Space Marine Codex into Battle Scribe and the Necron one. And it's taking forever because, you know, there's a lot of stuff in there. In fact, Battlescribe is starting to bug out because there's so much data that's being put up. Put up. Like, I remember reading somewhere that I think it was on, either on the Discord or the Reddit that, like, they were putting so much data in that the, the app would crash. So they're trying to figure out ways, okay, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll do an update with just this stuff amount of stuff and do an, a future update with the rest of the stuff. See if that works. So essentially, there's just so much data that... Be we're hitting the limit of Battle Scribe of what Battle Scribe can do. Mm -hmm. And now people are like, oh, we just, we, why don't we just, you know, give money to Battle Scribes so, like, we, we can pay these guys to prioritize it? Well, you can't because the moment, well, first of all, if you pay for Battle Scribe Pro, that only goes to Battle Scribe the app, not the data people. Because the moment the data, the data people start getting money, Games Workshop is on their ass because then it becomes a liability legal issue. That's when Games Workshop actually cares, right? Because people are making money off of their IP. Which is a no-no, regardless of how you feel about, you know, free rules or not. That's the law, so that's why they're super hesitant about getting funding to uh, do these projects. You know. All right. All right. Yeah. I mean, now it's like, I'm like, it's been two weeks. I kind of want to have yeah. my accurate numbers, but uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't hear about that conspiracy, and plus, I didn't really know the uh, whole hierarchy of the uh, yeah. battle scribe. So, like, I don't. I I think all the conspiracies are BS, but like it's just a funny one of like Games Workshop is beating Battle Scribe by just releasing so many rules that it can't keep up. Because, I mean, jokes aside, that's kind of what's happening. They just can't keep up with these updates. And now you have the Space Wolf and Death Watch stuff coming out. <laughs> oh man, they got they got like two weeks. I mean, it's only pre-orders this week. Yeah, and you know, and hope. But it's a thing, right? Like once you hit that, like if they finish, are they gonna add it? Are they gonna update? What's going on? You know, and you have Blood Angels and Death Guard coming up soon, so yeah. It's taking a but, long time. But with Space Marines, I mean, that'll just be a copy and paste majority of the time. That's what you think, right? But who knows? I yeah, mean, that's knows right. That is the... what I think. Yeah, right. That, I mean, that's what I would think. But who knows with what's gonna happen with, with how Battle Scribe is? How it's gonna work? So. Yeah, it's it's taking a while. I I'm just making Excel sheets with all my stuff so I can make lists at this point because it is taking forever. The the price of convenience right here. I know the price of convenience. Again, it's not like you can pay for it because it doesn't make it any faster. Yeah. 
I mean, the best thing to do is just get the app, <laughs> even though the rules are wrong. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, they're not entirely wrong. They're just not completely updated. Yeah. And that goes for points, so, you know, you gotta factor in your own points. So, uh, at this point, you know, put up a little sketch of what you want and then make sure you have the points updated on, an, on like, a Microsoft Word paper or something like that. Right. But, yeah, that's the Battlescribe thing. All right, well, I'm glad I'm somewhat informed on this new conspiracy. But, uh, so that's that. Again, like I said, I'll try to do the battle report thing. Don't know how that'll go. That'll be cool. Uh, you can always find John on Instagram. I'll have his thing in the description below. You can find me on Twitch, Instagram. Again, all below. And uh, we'll catch you guys next week. See you, everyone. Later.